Hey YouTube, we're coming back for round one, round two of the Modern Challenge. Won the first round against an Abzan company deck. Won. So it's an Abzan like Rally the Ancestors deck. Won it two games to one. Missed my first land drop. I kept a two Street Wraith, two Bobble, two other cards on the on six on the draw. And missed it, but almost had a had a chance. Uh, Rye 406, Jace is the nice. I like Jace. Yes, ban all the expensive cards. That makes sense. And then all your stores that bought them struggle because they lose money there. Then we have nowhere to play Magic besides at GPs. All right. Probably going to ignore the chat for a little bit. Going to hone in on the game. I usually don't like keeping four landers, but our Tarmogoyf is going to be fairly large and there's a chance at this Fatal Pushes text, so I think I'm going to keep this. Same margin. I wouldn't keep this if I was on the play. I think I'm going to just pass. There's no sense bobbling now because I can't just draw the card. It's not like I can hit a discard spell. Okay, Horizon, so we're probably playing against Bolos. Oh, Ether Vial, that's much better than Bolos. Stubborn Denial, we don't want that. I'm going to get my life total low enough, but I'm not going to get in too much damage. Danger, because we don't have a Death Shadow. I might eat my words here. Can I get Water Grave? Play Tom, or Water Grave Cycle couple times. More bows. Let's go one more time. Okay, traverse is good. I'm just trying to hope our opponent gives us a target. Which they should do eventually. Hopefully it's this turn so I can traverse for a shadow. I play a Leon and Arbor. Really good. Okay, we're just gonna push that because it's a target. Well, now I can just go like this. So actually, I think I'm just gonna leave this, hold my push, check out what they're doing. Raven Inspector. One of the mobile hierarch. Okay. Okay, it's humans. There's two melee mages. I kinda wanna take this mantis rider.
I got a mental image my fatal push, but I think we're gonna be able to beat over a bunch of bears. Yeah, I'm gonna take this Mantis Rider because if they go meddling mage, they cast Mantis Rider, meddling mage, fatal push, they're in a lot of trouble. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go fetch a basic forest. We're just going to have to try to beat over the top then because they're going to meddling mage us out of this game. They also could phantasmal image my tarnal if they wanted to. Maybe I should have shocked myself there to make my stuff bigger. Okay, one, two, so I can just empty their hand. And nothing but two twos. This matchup gets Certainly much worse without, uh, without whatever it is, uh, Battle Rage. I'm gonna probably need Fatal Push. This ain't battle rage. Could double name Fatal Bush. That's shadow. Okay. Attack with both, they buy all this in, copy Tarma Life. I abrupt decay this. Fatal push, what if they copy abrupt decay? We're gonna attack with both. If they activate this vial, I might just abrupt decay, push. Because it's so bad if they copy it. Yeah, I think this is like the way that I lose this game. The way that I lose this game is if I... Then he copies my Tarn of Life. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah, now he just bounces Tarn of Life, but he takes seven. Yeah, this is kind of like, I just pump faked. I got nervous about like him putting in a 
image and then copying meddling mage and naming it Brup Decay. Which is probably like I mean not I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about maybe like what if he's ghosting. But I guess I shouldn't think about that if I'm streaming. Cause like I'm already conceding that. What if he what if he uh plays Death Shadow? Okay. The problem is is if what if he names Abrupt Decay? Oh, so he has to block. You have to block right kill you. Okay. Shoot. Oh, if he sees it, I totally toss this. What if he names Abrupt Decay with his meddling mage? Yeah, he saw it. Oh, man. And he gets in. Yep. That. Yeah, that was that sucked. Cause like, so the reason why I did it all there was because if he gets in and he names abrupt decay with the second one, then I can't respond, and he just kills my like he basically just kills me. And if he names abrupt decay with the second one, then I guess. Yeah, I guess I just threw it. Yeah, because he, he then has to, like, he's still bearing down a lot of big creatures. Yeah, I guess that was bad. Yep. I guess I should have just made him do it. No, so, no, no, F, you're not, you're not understanding. He, I cannot respond, I have to respond to the vial. So, like, if he gets to put his phantasmal image in, then he automatically names Decay and I can't do anything. So I can board out my Godless Shrine. I don't know boarding these brutalities. They're not great, but they do something. Liliana the Veil is not great either, but we'll keep it in on the play. Cut my blue cards. Yeah, go like this. Yes, respond to the vial with the can the push mage. Then Dell pushes of the mage. What if he names Fatal Push? Then like he's obviously gonna name Fatal Push if I decay his one that says Fatal Push, right? Sounds okay. Could you decay the first and let him name maybe that would have been the right thing to do. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. This hand's like not very good. But this Liliana, there's certain draws of this Liliana is going to be great. I shouldn't have swung with a Tarnagoyf. That's what I should have done. That was my mistake. I will keep, I'm going to keep this because like I can play a Tarnagoyf, I can interact on turn two and this Liliana is very good against certain draws that he has. He's got a lot of little X1s. Yes, and that's what I'm like, so I don't care about them right now. And that's the mistake that I made. Now I'm frustrated about it. Like I should have thought about the attack before I went in. And that's, that's where I made a mistake. Ooh. Okay, I can... Let me go Inquisition now, see if I can do something where I can set this flying tendrils up. Okay, 
Oriok Champion, Hostage Taker, Fiend Hunter, Mantis Rider. I think I'm going to take this Mantis Rider. Hopefully I can get two, two drops. We gotta take that because he could have turned to it. That would not have been good. This hostage taker could be pretty annoying though. I'm gonna definitely try to thought seize this hostage taker. Hostage taker's good. I love, I love hostage taker. Play another one drop. Okay. So I can take Fiend Hunter and Hostage Taker. Alternatively, I could have played my Liliana and start ticking up to get him to flood the board, which might have been a better play. I think I've got to slow down here. I don't know if it was better or not, but I should have at least thought about it. Tendrils, I'm going to cry. I am Death Shadow. Okay. All right. Get the Forfer. Yeah. So now we should be able to clean up here. Depending on what he does, either play Liliana or Tom Boyce next turn. Yeah, now we're definitely just going to zap this. I'm going to get another tap going. I don't have any blue cards in my deck. A Mirror and Crusader still would be pretty bad. But for my opponent to do that, they have to go land into Crusader. But I definitely need to get this Tom Royf on the battlefield next turn. Should be in good shape now. Man, just right over kind of suck. I 
I don't think we're going to do the second one. I just don't see a reason why. Kind of in how do we lose territory. And I think the best way we lose is to a mirror and crusader. So maybe I shouldn't have even cycled it. Can't pick back up a land. I'd actually like to see another. Because I do, I do lose to another one of these. It'd be the third Mantis Rider. But the third Mantis Rider would get me. I'll cycle. I died to a Mantis Rider. Should I cycle my land? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Don't have another Mantis Rider. It's Mantis Rider. Gosh darn it. Oh, I can still target this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not dead. Still target this. So I have to fetch, I have to go for a fetch land and traverse for a fetch land makes this 16. Okay, so that's good too. So let me tick up on this, make it so he has to chump with the Mantis Rider. Because this is 16 damage. I'm going to fetch a blue land just to make him think that maybe there's blue still left in the deck. Yeah, I know I'm going to right off the top one time. Keep my hands away or just click out of this. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go get another Death Shadow so that we can beat a Reflector Mage. I guess it doesn't really beat a Reflector Mage because he just chumps. No Mantis Rider, come on. Okay. okay. I'll bring this in. 
and I'm going to cut a Liliana while I'm on the draw. Just want to keep my deck lean, low to the ground. black and red. That's bad. Maybe I should bring in some... I just have to discard spell though, so I can't cut any of my discard. My card's gonna be pretty annoying. Card beats Liliana. champion. We have two removal spells and a redraw. And we're three quarters of the way to Delirium and a redraw with a scry. I think I gotta keep this. We definitely need to not draw any more lands. this and I I'm just gonna push it now. I don't know what they could have, but I don't need to give them another mana. Okay. Traverse isn't bad. Freebooter's annoying. I would have just done it in my upkeep, in his upkeep, Rollum, after I drew the card. So he takes my abrupt decay. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize off the top. Alright, that's pretty good. A really good draw. Okay, here we go. It's not good. Now I've got to hit get this back All right, how do I get my death shadow 14 I need to get my death shadow into play next turn and hope that he doesn't have any follow-ups That's pretty good because that actually gets us two Death Shadows. I'm going to play two 1-1s. One I died like Phantasmal Image. Pretty much on the spot. How can I make him hold back? If I go to nine, he hits me to five. If I find a way to deal damage to myself next turn and I kill a blocker, then I can kill him if he attacks. Water grave to nine.
Traverse, play two Death Shadows. And I think another one. Black 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 is a Xanthrid Necromancer. Sync Factor, which takes my abrupt decay. Fetch landing has to block. Fetch landing has got to block. So I just attack with both. Go traverse for another Death Shadow and hope I don't die. He has to block it. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of ways that he just dies. If he doesn't block it, he dies to a dismember. Dies to a street race. No, that was so stupid. That was so stupid of me. I should have just, well, I guess I, I don't know. I could have traversed for a street race, cycle the street race, look for a mule this battle. Which against three card, yeah, that was so stupid. That was just absolutely egregious. I cut myself off a draw step, but I also give myself the out to where if he has a noble hierarch, or if he has a, um, he has a noble hierarch or a whatever it is a uh, values lieutenant and I'm just dead but I gave myself a chance to beat that though I just die if I do that so now if he has nothing we beat it but he's got to have can't have a reflector mage yeah this is a mantis right that was just so stupid to me that was so dumb I should have just gone for it Oh, that's frustrating. I should have gone. I should have like just gone for it. Oh, I should have gone for it. <laughs> 